If you live in Hartford, then you've probably heard fireworks going off late at night. And if you don't live in Hartford, there's still a good chance you're dealing with the noise. As Mayor Luke Bronin stressed during his press conference, it's an issue many cities are struggling with. Pop, 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 pop. Sometimes it sounds like gunshots. The city of Hartford has received more than 600 fireworks complaints in just five days. I would just attribute that to people being home, not at work, not in school. While only sparklers and fountains are legal in Connecticut, the illegal use of fireworks is skyrocketing, according to city officials and residents. Making it impossible for seniors to sleep, for kids and babies to sleep, veterans with PTSD. Uh, pets that are going crazy, uh, and they're dangerous. A 17-month-old baby was burned just you know, a few days ago. Because of the pandemic, people are using the fireworks, I guess, to relieve their stress and their anxiety. The police department tweeting out these photos Wednesday night after seizing multiple fireworks. Serena Parker says she wakes up early for her job at a local nursing home, and the fireworks have consistently woken up herself and her two-year-old daughter. My daughter, she won't go back to sleep. She's up with me. Why are you doing it at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when people are trying to sleep and people have to go to work and people have kids? And Hartford isn't alone. Cities and towns across Connecticut and in cities across the country. Hamden Police Department says it's dealing with a vast increase in fireworks complaints, 63 over the past two months. Stratford releasing this public notice in anticipation of 4th of July, warning violating fireworks laws can result in ticketing or an arrest. Hartford has two dedicated tip lines for reporting the use of fireworks. You can find both of those numbers on the bottom of your screen and officials urge residents when calling in to make those complaints to be specific as possible. Reporting in Hartford, it's Nia Maldonado, Fox 61 News.